गणेश हाईज प्रार्थना उंडू सो वॉट आई जस्ट सेड वॉज इश हाईज प्रार्थना द लिटरल ट्रांसलेशन वुड बी आई एम कॉल्ड प्रार्थना वी कैन ऑल्सो से एज आई एम प्रार्थना I used ish for I. Once again, ish means I. The next sentence was on do. Do means you. Air. Air means he. Air is glucklish. He is happy. Next. Z. Z means she. Z is shown. She is beautiful. S. S is ein Buch. It is a book. We are. We are means we. We are learning Deutsch. We are learning German. Ear. You all. Ihr seid Schüler. You are students. Z means you. Now, we have done do for you. And now, we also saw Z for you. Do is used during informal conversations. So, if you are talking with your friends, your neighbor, you can use do for you. Next, Z, you. So, if it is a business environment or if you are talking with someone who you respect, for example, your boss, your teacher, you will use Z. Z. Z means they. So, in total, we learn Three Z's. One Z is for she. Next Z, that is the capital Z, is for you, formal. And then once again Z, that is for they. Now, introduce yourself in German uh, in the comment section. For example, Ich heise Prarthana. So you can write Ich heise Prarthana. I will meet you this Saturday. Until then, cheers!